Welcome to Ring Central Coliseum in Oakland, home of the A's. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the St. Louis Cardinals going up against the Oakland Athletics. John Shambi and Chris Singleton with you. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country and a lot of times that's done through sport but for me as a black player when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure baseball's hard enough just to play but then everything sort of on the field off the field and how he persevered through that's so inspiring and we'll be back with the first pitch right after this just about ready to roll here and today's starter, Ross Stripling. How about a scouting report on him? Well, this guy lives and dies with his slider, and it's a good one. Most guys, you know, they're working off of their fastball, but he's backwards a little bit, works off the slider, and then when the fastball comes, it can add a little velocity Pretty in terms of perception card. when guys are used to seeing that off-speed pitch. When it's right, Donovan. really tough to hit. Even if you guess it's coming because it's breaking two planes, horizontal and vertical. As he turns on the rubber, and with that... Good live arm delivers. That one fouled off. There's the swing and a miss. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And he chases that one. And one gone. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. That one missed. Righty delivers. Well, Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in there. It's a first inning double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here's Nolan Gorman. And that one pulled foul. One out, the runner at second, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Comes up empty, that's strike two. She can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. And that's in the dirt. The other way. And a base hit. Throw comes into third. And they're at the corners with only one out. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit. Maybe spread out. But he got the job done right there. Here's Nolan Arenado. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And that's a foul ball. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Runners are at the corners, one away. Swing and a miss. Okay. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Oh. 
on the ground to the foul, left. Foul, foul. And it's just foul. That was close. Kicks and deals. First and third, one down. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the... Swings and misses, struck him out. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step off and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two-out at bat coming up now. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Way high there. And that is ball one. Two on, two outs. Flips the corner, and the count even at one. One missing low. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. The 2 2 on the way. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back here in the East Bay. And now here's the starter for St. Louis, Kyle Gibson. What do you have on him, Siggy? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those Where weapons. He, he may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. That one's in there, and it's on two. On the ground to short. Over to Goldie. Yep, one up, one down. And time now to check out the A's lineup. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click. And unfortunately, what happens is guys press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand no, that they're going to come out of this. Zach Gellar in the box here lets that one go for a ball. And another ball. Two balls. No One out. Base is empty. Wouldn't chase that time. Clips the corner. Three and one. And that's ball, ball four. four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Right. Hitter didn't offer at the it. Now he has somebody to worry about Get over me. at first. Runner Get on at first with one gone. Now it's J.D. Davis. And the pitch a little bit low. One ball enough. one. At the belt and fires. 
Hurt. And it's even up. Well, we call that key holy. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Ground ball left side. And oh. that's just foul. Man at first, one away. him looking and he did not like the call here's Tyler Nevin three. to the plate and first offering is fouled off And he deals. Oh. And that's outside. And one the count one. even one and one. And he pumps it a strike. Fights that one away, still one and two. Well, that ball's hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. And oh. another ball. Good eye in that spot. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Righty to the plate. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Payoff pitch. And that one hammered. Back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. We move to the second here in Oakland. No score. Back in Oakland, got, top of the second. Now the left the fielder, left Lars Newtbar. Lars Newtbar. Stripling goes six foot one, 34 year old vet, and they traded for him earlier this year. No, and that one just ball. misses a ball, ball and no okay. strikes. Nope. Just okay. missed. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there, and boy. Umpire to give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Good hitters count the 2-0. Oh. That's a little bit low. And yeah, there's ball four. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, boo. The last one wasn't even close. So up next, Jordan Walker. Walker. Throw to first, and he dives back in safely. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Tag, and they got him. Such a quick and fast swing of emotions right there. You get the runner on with the walk, which is great, but then picks a bad pitch to go on, and you just erase the free pass that you were issued. I understand you want to be aggressive. You want to try to get in the scoring position, but you just have to be a little smarter there. Oh, one down. Oh. Way high. One ball, one strike. Oh, 
swings and misses. And it's one and two. Clearly is sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, heading for two. The throw into second, and he'll make it safely. That's a double. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Man at second with one away. And up next for St. Louis, Mason Wynn. That right, one boom. finds the zone, and it's 0-1. And a pitch. Slider misses outside. The Cardinals with a chance to score first here at the top of the second. Fly ball center field. Snags it on the run. Out number two. Batting up the center fielder, Victor Scott. And here's the rookie center fielder. Close, but called a ball. Ball one. No score here in the second. Lined into right. And he can't make the play. Walker is waved home. He'll score and the Cardinals have the lead. One nothing to second and he's safe. Well that right there is a pretty clear example of why making a clean on target throw back into the infield is so critical. But so many times it's easily overlooked. You can't be careless about it as an outfielder. Doesn't matter if you're throwing to a base or a cutoff. You have to give them something that they can handle. That cost him a run as a result. And now, Brendan Donovan. And there's a foul ball. And that one fouled off. And on second, two down. Lifted in the air, right center field. Makes the grab on the run. And that is that. One run, one hit, one error, and one left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Cardinals one and the A's nothing. And welcome back yeah, to the boy. ballpark. Bottom of the, the second. Catcher. And now the catcher comes up to him. Shea Langoliers. Gibson back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Just missed. In for a strike. And it's two and one now. Wind in the pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. The wind in the pitch. Swing and a slow roller. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly, but the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first that out. The designated hitter. Darryl. Now the A's designated hitter, Daryl Hernandez.
Chop back up the middle. Win. Throws to first. And that quickly, two away. Batting seven. The third baseman. Here is the rookie third baseman. Trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Hit in the air, right field. Walker settles under it and makes the catch. And that will end the inning. We played two innings. It's one to nothing. And we're back. We New inning start. getting started. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Paul Goldschmidt. Stripling back to work. And that's in for a strike. Just missed. That one ripped right center field. Toro ranging back. A dive and he can't haul it in. Around second now going for three. And he's got a leadoff triple. Putting some good swings on the ball. Yeah, that's his second that's extra big. base hit in this one. No, just a cookie no, no. down the middle. Yeah. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Nolan Gorman next up for the Cardinals. And he's already singled in this game. Clips the outside corner, and that is strike one. No outs, runner over at third. Next offering misses, one and one. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Next offering is in for a strike. pitch and a base hit knocks in a run puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI I really like that swing man he didn't just push it the other way through the infield he drove it that way and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box got a pitch he liked and he got it done here's Nolan Arenado And a curve misses outside. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Fought off foul. And here it comes. In the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. One on, nobody out. A run in. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Gets the call. Two and two. The pitch. And another ball.
And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. In the air out towards right center. Butler on the move to the gap. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Up next for the Cardinals. The catcher. Wilson Contreras. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. There's a strike. On the ground to third. Can't glove it cleanly. So now the injury forcing a substitution at second base. And pinch running for St. Louis. Brandon Crawford. Lars Newtbar getting ready to hit. He reached out a walk his first time. Gets under it and pops it up. Allen settles under this one. And there's two down. Go Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. So first and second with two outs. Jordan Walker, the next to hit. One for one with a double and a run score. And takes low for ball one. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Foul ball there. That one the other way. And that's down. A base hit. Headed for the plate. He'll score. It's three zip. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And now the shortstop, Mason Wynn. First pitch, and he just misses. High fly ball, shallow right field. Butler makes the play, and that is that. So it's two runs on four hits, no errors, and a couple left on. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Cardinals three and the A's nothing. Now into the ball game on defense, Brandon Crawford. He'll play second. Digging in for the Oakland, athletic. Nick Allen. The shortstop, Nick Allen. And the right hater back to work. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope oh. that he can get through this inning, get the bats One back ball. up there One while strike. they're hot. Here comes a pitch. 
Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. Close one doesn't get the call. Now two and two. Right hander kicks deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Yeah, that's too high. The wind of the pitch. The punch out there. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Really good battle right there, and that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Next up for the A's, Lawrence Butler. Puts it in the air out towards left center. It falls in, and that's a knock. And that turns the lineup over. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. with one down takes a strike Gibson checks on the runner and he dives back in safely I think you want to get a one way lead be very aggressive in the secondary this hitter not a power guy so you want to make sure that you can get some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score a ball in the gap and that is the inning no runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. On to inning number four. It's the Cardinals three and the A's nothing. Back here in the East Bay, out of the fourth, here's the center fielder, number 42. Go come on, Oakland! The why to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Cardinals doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. And on top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Tried to get inside on him, but he was ready yeah, for it. Just yeah, kept his hands here. in and right turned in. on the pitch. Quick Don't bat through the zone. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Pickoff throw. No, and he's, he's back safely. Right. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Now here is Brendan Donovan. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Nobody out. Runner at first. Popped up right side. Gellar under this one. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. The batter. The first baseman, Paul Goldsmith. 
And here's Paul Goldschmidt. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, Boo. Oh. Pitch misses, and it's 1-0. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. On the ground to first. Slides, but it gets by him. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And the throws offline, safe at third. Now back. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And that'll bring up Brandon Crawford. Enter the game as a pinch runner. First plate appearance for him here. Ball one low. You know, Chris, Brandon Crawford made his big league debut May 27th, 2011 at Milwaukee and he hit a grand slam at his big league debut. No, one thing I've always admired about him is his ability to handle left-handed pitching. Stays in the big part of the field and just has a nice swing path. Bounce to the right. Fires to second oh. for one. Back to first. Double play. Nice job getting over and that ends the inning. No runs on two hits. No errors and one man left. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Cardinals three and the A's nothing. Back in Oakland, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Zach Geloff. pitch no. just missed up the middle and that chance handled got him on the off balance throw one out in the bottom of the fourth First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that Next ball. And then even more impressive the was the throw. Man. Off balance, had to try to end the Dang air, man. get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. Now it's J.D. Davis. Right, and that move. one clips the corner. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that's in there at the knees. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up. He can go away. He can that's add velocity. He can subtract. One ball. Two straight. The one-two. That one to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Now batting. The left fielder. Tyler Nevin. Tyler Nevin. Up next for the A's. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Right through there for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Two out, space is empty. And that just misses. It's a good take. Next offering upstairs. Wouldn't chase that time. Right. 
Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Two outs. And that's ball too ball high. Three. Ball four. One of the things about that two out walk the base runner over at first base is going to have a very okay. aggressive secondary <laughs> lead so a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI and those are the best that is if you are the offensive side of it. Langoliers at the plate now that's ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. And the pitch. And another ball. Now all lead it up. And they'll do it again. Good Great eye right there. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. One left for Oakland. Still down 3 0. Welcome back to the ballpark here on Jackie Robinson Day. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. And a pitch. And a strike. You know, Singy, when you think about every player wearing number 42 on Jackie Robinson Day, you can thank Ken Griffey Jr. for all of it. Griffey was the first player to come up with the idea of wearing number 42 back on April 15th in 1997, the 50th anniversary of Robinson's Major League debut. Splits the plate. No balls, two strikes. That was also the day that Bud Selig retired his number. And Griffey, who was playing for the Mariners at the time, asked to have his uniform number flip-flop switching from 24 to 42. The 1-2. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. One away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good now coming down. in, but so the hard catcher. to get on top of Wilson. as a hitter. Contreras. Wilson Contreras. Next up for the Cardinals. One for two. Oh, and a good eye there. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. This ball's chopped on the ground. Geloff whips it to first, yeah. and Contreras is retired. Now batting, left fielder, Lars Newtbar. Here's the left fielder, Lars Newtbar. He's 0 for 1. Newtbar, 26 years old, and he was drafted in the eighth round. Back in 2018. Base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Next to hit, Jordan Walker. Oh. First pitch doesn't find the zone.
Two outs. That Whoop. one's in there. And a count one and one. The pitch. Yep. And that's oh, off dude. the inside edge. Two and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The count two and one. Ripped to short. Fires over to Davis. And that is that. So one left for the Cardinals, but they lead it three nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Oakland's DH, Daryl Hernandez. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And a foul ball. You know, these A's need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. We've seen a lot of soft contact from them, and it hasn't been easy to barrel up the baseball in this one, but I'm interested to see if they can make any adjustments moving forward. That one, one not close, and it's one and two. One place to start in terms of turning the offense around is pitch selection. I think if they get a little more selective about what oh. pitches they're going after, we'll start seeing better contact. Bounced out to short, win. Now the throw to first on the run. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Here's the third baseman. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat. Getting that first hit at the big league level. The Redbirds leading by three. Last half of inning number five. That's a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. And now one and two. One ball. Two straight. This one smacked out to left center, and no one can get there. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now batting, shortstop, Nick Allen. Now it's the shortstop, Nick Allen. Caught looking his first time up. And that's oh, off the inside edge. Ball one. Righty delivers. Off the plate inside. Now 2 and 0. Oh. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Next offering is in for a strike. And the right hander deals. Fastball for a strike. Okay. And it's three and two. On the ground, right side, four, six. Got it. 
three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Still nothing on the scoreboard for him after five. It's the Cardinals three and the A's nothing. On to pitch now for Oakland, Joe Boyle. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. And the batter will be the shortstop, Mason Wynn. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. The shortstop takes the ball. And because of that big power arm, is able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Oh, nice play. The throw, and very nicely done for the out. Third base would have to be so quick with their first step reactions. Hot shots like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. Yeah, the batter now, number 42, no, just missed. In there at the knees. Action in the pen down there. Michael Kelly, the young right-hander, up and throwing. One down, base is empty. And another ball. On the ground, right side. Davis steps on the bag. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. The batter, the designated hitter, Brendan Donovan. So the batting order turns over. Now up for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. First pitch misses. fly ball down the left field line fair ball now he'll turn for second and he's in with a stand-up double So, man, intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. Now batting. Here's Crawford Second now. Base. Open stance Randy. on that left side. Crawford. Sweet. And the first pitch misses for ball one. one ball. No strike. The cards trying to break this one open. And we're in the top half of the sixth. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That one's carrying. And caught on the warning track. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Cardinals three and the A's nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Striding to the plate now for Oakland. Lawrence Butler. Gibson back to work. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. 
just missed. Next pitch in for a strike and the count one and two. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. So the Oakland lineup turns over and now the center fielder Abraham Toro. Toro. That one finds the zone. One on. Popped up left side. Drops into the glove. And there's two down. Now that's the second baseman. Yes. Here's the second baseman, Zach Geloff. Pitch is in there. Strike one. No ball. One strike. The Athletics trailing by three here in the bottom of the sixth. Pulls that one foul. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. It's the Cardinals three and the A's nothing. Back here in the East Bay, now the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Just missed. And another ball. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Come on, Alfred! Right-handed reliever. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Two-two down. That's Set three. down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Now batting. The catcher. Wilson Contreras. Wilson. Next up Contreras. for the Cardinals. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. It's strike two. No ball. Two strikes. The 0 2. And a curve misses outside. Got him swinging. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone, and then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Nothing doing here this half. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Cardinals three and the A's nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh. Digging in for Oakland, J.D. Davis. 
The wind in the pitch. Slapped foul. The 0 1. Swinging a foul straight back. Caught him looking for the K. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure. Hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0-2 and, and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. you got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. Nevin at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Base is empty one away here at the bottom of the seven. One down, base is empty. In the air, right field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Now batting, catcher. Shea Langoliers up next for the A's. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. And that's off the inside edge. And now it's even one and one. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. A's go quickly and quietly there. They trail in this one, three nothing. We go to the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Jordan Walker. The pitch. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Michael Kelly getting loose out there. Kicks and fires. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. And here it comes. And a foul ball. Two two now. Slider misses outside. Hard hit left side. Tosses across the first, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in now the eighth. Mason Wynn. So digging in, Mason Wynn. 0 for 3 with two fly outs and a ground out. Right through there for a strike. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Liner, base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. 
right there. He does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Here's the center fielder. First pitch doesn't find the zone. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Left hand batter waits. Wouldn't chase that time. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Righty to the plate. That one finds the zone, and it's two and one. Ground ball left side could be two, and he can't come up with it. Goes to second, safe there. Uh, I think he just rushed that one. Great chance to turn two, and... As an infielder on in a play like that, I think guys can get a little excited and forget to make the play one step at a time. Could have been two outs. Instead, they get none. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Now, Brendan Donovan. First oh. offering, and it just misses. One ball. No Two on, one out. Here's a rocket out to left. Makes the grab. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Paul Goldschmidt. He's got a single, a double, and a triple in this game. A home run gets him the cycle. In there for strike one. Some hitters are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. The Cardinals trying to break this one open. And we're in the top of the eighth. That's a slider for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. One ball. In the dirt to third, tag, got him. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. The cards leave one, but they lead it 3-0. And now the D.H., Daryl Hernandez. The A's in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone, and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. That one drilled left field. Dives and it gets by. Makes the turn and heads for second. Around second now as they still don't have it. And he's in to third base with a leadoff triple. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's the third baseman. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Runner at third here, nobody out. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
That misses the zone. One and two to count. And that one lifted in the air center field. Settles under it. Nabs it. Runner tags from third. Safe. He beats the tag. And it's now a two-run game. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Here's Oliver Marmol towards the mound, and we're going to see a pitching change here. That'll be it for Kyle Gibson, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Andre Palante. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Nick Allen, now up next for the A's. Get on base here and keep building off this momentum. They're getting closer, but they still got some work to do. Palante, a six foot righty, 25 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2019. It's softly on the ground, left side. Arenado to first, in time, two away. Up next for Oakland, the right fielder, Lawrence Butler. Lawrence Butler, up next for the A's. strike right there is there a little wrinkle to that I think there was yeah a little slider action next offering upstairs swing and a ball hit out towards left center field reaching for it and brings it in that one was ticketed for the gap, but couldn't get through security. Great job there of leaping, making the catch, and ending the inning. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Michael Kelly. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now at the plate, Paul Goldschmidt. Three for three with a single, a double, and a triple, so he just needs a homer for the cycle. And the pitch. In for a strike. It's 0-1. And that's a strike. and misses it's a strikeout well clearly just anxious right there and understandably so in an 0-2 count you feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover and you don't want to strike out and you end up striking out that's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone it's too late to hold up your swing Nevin makes the grab two down hey man four pitches two outs that is an excellent pace and next will be the cleanup hitter, Nolan Arenado. There's a strike, 95 of that one. The Athletics have some bullpen action. T.J. McFarland, the veteran southpaw, is getting ready to come on if needed. Swing and a foul pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. Next pitch is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes.
Bounced up the middle. Slings the first, and the inning is over. No runs, no hits, no errors. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, due up. It's the Cardinals three, and the A's one. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Ryan Helsley. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Back to the top of the lineup. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Abraham Toro. The pitch. Not close with that one. 1-0. One and oh. Here comes a pitch. That one fouled off. And the righty deals. That one in triple digits. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one away. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Gellar, the next to hit, takes ball one. Facing a closer that delivers big-time velocity. Well, normally against a big arm with this kind of velocity, you look for the ball down because the fastball up is a little hard to catch up to, but he's shown really good plate discipline by not offering at that last pitch down. At the belt and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One down, base is empty. Fouls it off, still one and two. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. Davis stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Pitch is outside. Two run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. There's the strike, and it's two and one. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Two outs. And that one fouled off. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just could catch up. One strike away. Not even close there. And the count is filled up. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run and the on-deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. Two down, nobody on. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Whoa. 
Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Three two now. Got him. Ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Players can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. And your final 3-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.